Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. I am so excited to share one of my latest craft projects, my sewing themed wreath. I had such a blast coming up with this little project and you won't believe how easy it is to make. The wreath itself came from Hobby Lobby last January after all the decor went on sale for basically 100% off. <laughs> Each of the ornaments was made on my Cricut Maker. Using their 2mm chipboard and the knife blade, I was able to cut out these really detailed shapes. The knife blade is basically an X-Acto knife that makes shallow cuts into the chipboard. The machine cuts into the shipboard a little bit at a time, passing over the images again and again until it cuts through the entire thickness of the chipboard. I was using a brand new knife blade and found that if the software was going to make 24 passes, I really only needed to do half of that so I could cancel the cut basically halfway through. So that also means though that this is not one of those Cricut projects that you can just set and forget. You really need to stay close by and start checking to see if the chipboard is cut through when you're getting to close to that halfway mark of the cutting process. But once it's done, the shapes just pop out and you can use a little awl to get the itty bitty parts out. The sewing machine design actually came from one of my favorite bloggers, C. Kate Sew. She posted about these ornaments earlier this year and I stored that little idea away until now. In addition to Kate's sewing machine ornaments, I also found some other sewing related images in Cricut's design space, a thimble, a needle and thread spool, and a button. I made all the ornaments in two sizes for a little bit of variety. To make it easy for you guys, I have made my design public so you can get started on your ornaments in just a few clicks. The link to the design is in the description box along with links to all of the products I have used to make my wreath. So once everything was cut out, I took some basic acrylic paint and painted both sides of each piece of the ornaments. Then I took a little bit of gold acrylic and ran that just along the edges just to give it a little bit of dimension and a little bit of sparkle. For the sewing machine, I painted the knobs of the machine in contrast colors so that they would stand out a little bit. And for the button, I simply just tied some twine around the holes of the button to make it look like it was a threaded button. To finish up this wreath, I made some thread spool ornaments. The wooden spools can be found at any craft store. I took some wood stain to deepen the color a little bit and then wrap some fabric scraps around each one with a hot glue gun. So easy. To top it all off, I sewed this bow by taking a long strip of scrap fabric, folding it right sides together and stitching all three sides, leaving a small opening in the longest side for turning. Then I just turned it and pressed it and tied it into a bow around a piece of the garland. And there you have it. It really is that easy to make your own wreath. And these little sewing themed ornaments really just speak to my heart. <laughs> I love mine so much. It might stay up past Christmas. I mean, nothing about it. Maybe the garland is overtly Christmas. So why not, right? But that's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you're not already, please subscribe. I post DIY fun craft projects like this all the time. But thanks for watching this one and be sure to tag me in your photos if you make the wreath or any of the ornaments. Obviously, these ornaments can go on your regular Christmas tree as well. They're not just for a wreath. I just love seeing how you guys are inspired by my projects. But again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.